Hey y'all, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. Today's a Whole Foods healthy grocery haul and meal plan, and the groceries are here behind me. I'm gonna take you through each of them in detail, but if you watched my healthy appetizers video that I put out a few days ago, then you know my January goals has to do with getting my health back on track, and there's two main ways I'm doing that. One, cleaner eating, hence healthy groceries from Whole Foods, <laughs> and the second one is to cook more, so hence the meal plan. All right, so let's just uh, get going. First we've got, let's start with the most unhealthy thing. <laughs> this could not have been more ironic to pick up. Uh, steak and potatoes, like pie kind of thing. It's steak and potatoes in a beef gravy sauce and a puff pastry. Uh, not healthy, but they were on sale and uh, they looked good. And I think Jared will like them. The ones we got from Trader Joe's recently, we were both sort of disappointed with, so redemption. Uh, I did get, man, also the two most unhealthy things, ice cream, <laughs> but Halo Top. If you haven't had Halo Top, oh my gosh, it's so good. And it's protein ice cream, so you kind of feel good about eating it. Anyway, I got mint chip, and then a new flavor I'm trying is the peanut butter cup. So fingers crossed, those are delicious. I also, back here hiding, got a margarita, uh... Is that how you say it? Mar yeah, margarita cauliflower crust uh, pizza. And then chicken enchilada bake um, made out of, uh, the tortillas are made out of cauliflower as well. Just trying to be a little bit carb conscious. I did think this was gonna be larger, like a family size. And uh, you know, that was disappointing, but whatever, we'll go with it. Um, let's go over here. So we have, Hard boiled eggs, namely because I'm lazy and I'm gonna put those in salads. And I could boil them myself, but like where's the fun in that? We did get some eggs over here, not for boiling, for scrambling, but uh, definitely wanted to make sure I got those. Then some mini beef meat balls and some uh, superfood smoothie kit. This has pineapples, celery, bananas, kale, spinach, lemon, cayenne, hemp seeds, wheatgrass, flax seeds, and chlorella. So if anything has chlorella in it, you know it's gonna be really healthy. Uh, hopefully it tastes good too. Also because I'm lazy, cucumbers <laughs> that are already sliced up. Uh, I don't always buy them this way, but Jared has um, COVID and I think, as you can tell from my scratchy throat, that I think I am next. And so um, I want to be able to eat healthy without having to expend a lot of energy. So hence, hard boiled eggs that are already boiled and sliced cucumbers. Also a pre-made salad, harvest cranberry crunch that's got chicken, honey, poppy seed dressing, cranberries, and pumpkin seeds. That sounded delicious. Um, then we've got some broccoli slaw, which I have a really good idea for a salad, uh, so like a side carrot salad kind of thing. We have a pre-made salad kit. Told you being super lazy this week. Uh, dill pickle. It's got shredded cauliflower, crinkle cut radishes, red and green cabbage, green leaf lettuce, kale, dill pickle, brioche crouton crumbles, because we fancy like that and uh, with creamy dill pickle ranch dressing. So between all of these things and the, the uh, frozen stuff that I can just heat up, even if I'm like so sick, I should be able to eat healthy. So that's one of my key things. Figure out what's gonna trip you up and find a solution. I have grilled chicken strips that I can put in salads. Then we have vegetable pad thai, uh, Saffron Road frozen dinner, just trying to be healthy, but they were also on sale. Then a family size, which wasn't expecting that, but family size chicken pad thai with rice noodles. Uh, so vegetable pad thai and chicken pad thai. And um, wow, it's hard to do this one handed, but that's okay. Uh, next we have spinach for salads rainbow baby carrots because they just like things i don't know anybody else with me like carrots are great orange carrots are great but when i also have purple and yellow carrots i just start to feel like i am being super healthy it's like all the nutrients that i could possibly get in all the different colors of carrots anybody else or just me uh also got some celery which i will chop myself 
Then I got some protein toaster waffles, Birch Blend Benders. I've never had these before, but I've heard good things about the brand. So, you know, healthy breakfast, we'll see. This was cool, I thought. It's spaghetti squash, but it's like, not in a squash, <laughs> so, but it's like, so it's dried and it's just like normal pasta. And you put it in the water and you boil it and it, you know, makes like pasta, but it's spaghetti squash instead. I just thought that was so easy because it's really hard for me to like, I don't know, shred up the spaghetti squash. And if it's too hard, I won't do it. Cause again, remember, sick and lazy this week. So we do what we can. We also got some uh, breaded chicken breast. Now, yes, breaded is maybe not the most healthiest thing in the world, but chicken is better than anything else. So we're gonna go with that. Moving over here, we have some broccoli florets. Um, I'll get to those in a second. We have two cans of uh, wild caught albacore tuna. I needed some new onion powder. The suja green drinks. Because again, if you saw my healthy appetizers video, you know I'm trying to drink one green juice a day and or one green smoothie, uh, either count, but I need one a day. And if you haven't had the Suja brand, they are so good. I get the Uber Greens and the Mighty Dozen. The Mighty Dozen is a little bit sweeter, so if you're not a fan of green juice, go with Mighty Dozen. If you are a green juice uh, connoisseur or you know, you're know you used to it, try the Uber Greens, it's great. I got some agave nectar for sweetener and some apple juice for Mr. Jared who just wants that and nothing else because he's sick. We also got uh, roasted garlic spaghetti sauce as well as Italian herbs spaghetti sauce. Can't say that. This is new and it was on sale. Uh, peanut butter crunch keto granola. It supposedly comes in like snack size servings, but I don't know about that because it feels like, like I kind of thought they'd be individually packaged, which would be cool, but this does not feel like they are. So I am, I'm unsure of what that's gonna look like, but we'll see. I like peanut butter, I like granola, and keto seems healthy, so like this just seems like a good buy, and it was on sale. Now we're getting into some of the snacks. Possibly one of my favorite snacks ever, moon cheese, but not just moon cheese, the white cheddar and black pepper. If you like moon cheese but haven't had this flavor, go run, get yourself some now. If you've never had moon cheese, try it. <laughs> it is so, 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 so good. But then I can't just, you know, eat cheese all the time. So I got cauliflower bites. This one is sea salt. Then we also got Buffalo Ranch. If anybody watched the Healthy Appetizer video, you know why I got those. And then also the White Cheddar. So I'll try all three of them and I will report back which one is my favorite flavor. And then finally, I got mango strips with chili and salt. If you've watched my detox video like ages ago, so like only probably a few of you have seen this, you know that I used to live in Colombia in South America. And one of the things that they always did there was not dehydrated mango like this, but they would put mango with chili and salt. And it was by far the most amazing thing that my tongue has ever tasted. <laughs> so when I saw these, also on sale, I was like, oh yeah, done, sold. So I feel like I've got some snacks that won't make me feel too horrible. I've got some breakfast, continuing with my green juice. I'll tell you what the meal plan is later, but I definitely have some easy options if I'm sick, and then some like have to make options. And then all the way over there, the ice cream and the uh, steak and potatoes, those are just like, I am lazy and I am sick and I don't wanna eat healthy, that's what I'm gonna have. And you know, hopefully it won't be too bad. All right, and to walk you through this week's menu, uh, today we're just gonna have leftovers that I have from yesterday. I've got a roasted squash gnocchi that I made and I'm trying to do meatless Mondays, um, you know, better for the planet. So uh, we're just gonna do meatless gnocchi. Tomorrow I'll do spaghetti squash and meatballs. Uh, Wednesday I'm gonna do broccoli cheddar soup. So that's the broccoli soup that I bought but then also adding in some cheddar cheese, which I already had and didn't need to buy, and some broccoli florets. And I'll make a homemade, hopefully it tastes girls like Panera's, uh, broccoli cheddar soup. 
Thursday, we'll do chicken rice, um, chicken and rice, and a carrot slaw salad. Um, and then Friday, I will do that little enchilada bake. I may switch that with Tuesday, depending on how I feel. If I feel really sick and I don't want to cook, guess what's going to happen? But also, Friday, Jared may be feeling better. And this is definitely a meal for two. This is definitely a meal for one. So I might switch, but we'll see. And if not, I'll definitely have leftovers of that. Saturday might be the pizza, assuming everyone in the house is feeling good. We might do a movie night or something. And then Sunday, we'll have probably leftovers. But if not, there's certainly salad stuff. We can have anything we want, potentially even eat out. But um, that is going to be this week's menu. There you have it, just a super quick, easy, hopefully healthy Whole Foods grocery haul for the week. If you like grocery hauls, give this video a big thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification, and I will see you next time. Bye.